In this episode of The Christian Philosopher, we'll look at 10 reasons to think Christianity is true. Welcome back, everyone. Scott Sullivan here from the Aquinas School of Theology and Philosophy. Today, we are talking about 10 reasons to think that Christianity is true. In a previous video, I made this argument called the MAC, the Master Argument for Christianity, and it runs like this. If Christianity is true, then a lot of good things we want are true. Christianity is true, therefore a lot of these good things we want are true. Now, in a previous video, I looked at 10 reasons to think that the first premise is true. The first premise is that if Christianity is true, then a lot of good things that we want are also true. Okay, And then I looked at 10 reasons to think that. So these are 10 reasons based upon our natural desires, that is, things all human beings want. We all want these things, and um, if Christianity is true, it would fulfill these natural human desires. So I'm talking about, number one, if Christianity is true, you and your loved ones never really die. Perfect happiness is possible and within your control. All pain and negative emotions will be eliminated forever. Knowing perfect truth is possible. Morality is real. Human dignity is real. God loves you. Your life has a purpose, value, and meaning. The entire created universe is governed by God's providential plan, and you have permanent reasons to be happy and optimistic in this world no matter what happens. Now, of course, the first premise is not trying to show that Christianity is true. Again, it's trying to show that Christianity is good. Showing Christianity is true, that's the purpose of the second premise, and that's the point of this video. Now, what we're going to do here today is build a cumulative case for Christianity. What's that? Well, uh, the nature of a cumulative case is this. Instead of using just one argument to support a conclusion, you use a whole bunch, right? This gives you a stronger case. So, for example, if you're in a court of law, it's nice to have one witness come to your defense, but it's better to have, say, 10, right? Well, it's the same thing here. When you have multiple arguments combining and converging and pointing to the same conclusion, you have a stronger case. You are more justified in believing that conclusion than if you only had, say, one argument. So this idea is used all the time. For example, if you had one argument to support the theory of evolution, that would be good. But if you had five or six, that would be even better. And it's the same thing here. So here in this video, we're going to look at 10 reasons to think that Christianity is true. And here are those 10 arguments. Number one, the argument from the character of Jesus. Number two, the argument from messianic prophecy. Number three, the argument from the resurrection of Jesus. Number four, the argument from the peaceful conversion of the world. Number five, the argument from the Shroud of Turin. Number six, the argument from scientifically validated miracles. Number seven, the argument from near-death experiences. Number eight, the argument from demonic realism. Number nine, the argument from Marian apparitions. And number ten, the argument from Pascal's wager. Now, many of these arguments by themselves are sufficient to warrant Christian belief. So, for example, there have been a lot of intelligent, you know, well-educated people who have come to believe in Jesus just based on the argument for the resurrection, right? The resurrection of Jesus is true. Jesus rose from the dead. Therefore, Christianity is true. And that's a reasonable position to take. But here again, we're building a cumulative case. We're taking multiple arguments and building a stronger case, uh, letting these arguments all combine and converge on the same conclusion. Now, just so you know, there have been entire books written on each one of these arguments. You can go into so much detail just on every single one. I'm not going to do that here. In this series of videos, I'm just going to kind of summarize the basic idea, and you can go into further depth and study on these things as you see fit. Hey, guys, just real quickly here, if you like these videos, and you want to learn more about uh, some of the stuff that I teach, you can visit my website, scottmsullivan.com. I have what I call the uh, Aquinas School of Theology and Philosophy. We have courses in logic, philosophy, theology, a whole bunch of stuff. You can check it out. We have a free trial. It's available on my website. Again, check it out, scottmsullivan.com.